because I got I live in Bell Chase and the house is too big and I just don't. Well, that's a shame. I wish I'd have known you were looking for a house. They just sold my brother-in-law just so lives across the street. Does it look like this? No, this is especially. That's that's what. <laughs> this is. I tell you what. You this walk house, in my house you turn around and walk out. This house, when that. you look at it <laughs> and you perfect. see the, the man, Thank the you. couple that lived here that they bought it from, of course. The couple that you bought it from, they were that her mom and Cereal stepfather. Yeah. <laughs> here. They were they were here. For they don't have. I look. I just took a real estate course. You don't have to disclose that, Miss Barbara. Okay. Anything you happened. really don't. No. If, if, the, if, if, the, if the, the person was, was a serial killer, you don't. Have that to lived know here. That. No, you don't have what to. What if they kill people in the house? You can. You don't have to disclose Seriously? that. Seriously. No. Really? There are some things you do have to disclose, if but it's that's not it. Maybe. What about go back to the Exorcist and? You might have to disclose that one. But his his uh, Mike Gross. the couple Gross that people. they that they bought she bought it from, you know if this was closed this was just, there was a door that came from that room into here into the kitchen he put all of these cabinets in all of that all of this okay I he have done opened it, it up no, yeah, yeah. that that right. was a bedroom where they had the little <clears> office <throat> area and. He he opened that up. I mean, he he did a beautiful job well, I would not change on this anything. house. No, I'm, thank you. I like you too. Really no. uh, he no. it, if you if you would have seen it before, he did it. I mean, he really and of course you know her mother and stepfather lived here. They were here before we moved in. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, can I have some more water, please? Sorry. So I'm not aiming to have a restaurant or anything. I want to let y'all know. I want to do this show because, you know, like on the on the Food Network, why do, why do they always have to have some tragic backstory? I just want to win some money to ride in Cleopatra. That's all I want. <laughs> do I? Do you, do you think, think I, people around the nation know what Cleopatra is? It doesn't matter. They think it's some kind of Egyptian yes. tribute or something. Maybe so. They might think I'm cultured or something. You want to throw your beads? I just want to ride in Cleopatra, yeah. y'all. Would you like to be Cleopatra? <laughs> no. Queen of Cleopatra? <laughs> well, he might Queen. have a little Let pull in Cleopatra. What would you be? Cleopatra? Queen of Cleopatra? The <laughs> Cleopatra herself, the cat. <laughs> You're already president of the Neighborhood Association. <laughs> Don't get too power hungry, <laughs> too quick. I'm trying not to, but it's so it's so hard. But if you do, I'm okay, maybe a neutral outsider. Well, you need it. Okay, you, you want the neutral key. outside? Yeah, no, if you do ride in Cleopatra, I'm going to be on the neutral downside, so look at me. Right? Okay. Uh, He's cool. I thought you were getting a key. <laughs> He's going to get him a beer. Okay. Anybody, you want a beer while he's going? Oh, no, ma'am. No, thank you. <laughs> you do want a beer? And that's on record. No, I don't drink. Thank it's you. It's admissible for <laughs> one beer. Can you edit this? Huh? Can you edit this? What? Can you edit this? Edited? Are you going to edit No, it has to be just unedited. Just us, you know, grab a friend and do the thing. And y'all, you know, uh, Give me the feedback on whether or not you think I should win. I think the food is delicious. Uh, yes, I, it was. Well, I didn't you. taste anybody else's food, right. but I got to tell you, it would be tough to beat this. Oh, really thank you. Thank you very much. No, you know what? It would be impossible. Impossible That's, is the word I was looking for. You know for. what? Unthinkable. I think it would be unthinkable I cannot myself. even imagine anybody <laughs> beating you. And besides that, it's good. <laughs> Let me tell you something else, and I'm serious. <laughs> this lady, you talk about winning money. This lady does so many charitable things. And I first met her, well, it wasn't that long ago. You're going to make me cry. Maybe 20, 25 years ago. But she is one of these people that really, you know, you hear about this celebrity with that foundation, that one with the other one. It all comes from her heart. And she genuinely cares about people. And that's the thing I noticed about her first. And that's why we've been friends all of these years. And I mean, that's Thank you so much, Tommy. Tracy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That was very sweet. But you care. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. But you care. You really do. Oh, thank you. And now, and I, now I'm gonna go into the ugly cry. No, but I've been involved with with you know people ask me to do different things, and sometimes you know that their motives yeah. are perhaps not the best, and sometimes, they might be yeah. doing it to yeah. make themselves look good. But you would never like that. You no, just I just always... want to ride in Cleopatra. I thought you might be hungry. 
And uh, I always have fun working with you, Tommy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> She's I, uh, got it all. <laughs> yes. I, um, yeah. <laughs> one more, more. Yeah. No, I, uh, I always have fun uh, with you, Tommy. We, we do a lot of fun stuff together. Yeah. And, uh, Tim? I hope it's Tim. Yeah. listens to your show every day. Oh, man. He's the one. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really really nice. I'm not lying. I, trust me, that is the truth. It's I think nice I'm, your, I'm your biggest fan. I think you never listen. I what I talked about this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was at. Oh, I got time. Go ahead. I was at the gym. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was it they talk about? This one? He yes. doesn't know. You have uh, to ask Tim. We don't listen yes, to the radio. You have to ask Tim. You really couldn't have just guessed presidential election. You couldn't have just guessed. <laughs> you should have. I should have known, but I try. You know, I, I, you know, I didn't guess that. No, you know, I I'm voting you know early this year. She's too busy so. helping people. That's right. That's right. That's, that's right. right. I'm busy. I have my missions, and I just, you know, on a mission. So let me turn this around on you. Why oh. do you like to cook so much? I like What's to eat. Thing? No. <laughs> You can okay, eat. my friend. Because actually, sometimes heard I know so a, okay. well, a little bit of cooking. You, I yeah. do. By the time you have your hands all in it, and and you just you're so close to it, it's you don't get the same enjoyment as if somebody else eats it. Well, I like the whole experience. You know, like I I like to be inspired by what's on special. You know, and like if that's what, or or like Phil uh, brought some fish, so I was inspired by the fish. So I wanted to find something healthy to do with the fish without just. But what I really wanted to make was a cubion. But that's the next show. <laughs> Which is yes. spelled Cordoulian. Yes. Right. Maybe that's how they pronounce it in other areas Cord of the country, oh, yes. but not here. Right. We pronounce it Cubillon. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's spelled cou Cordoulian. Cordoulian. Which is Cordoulian. French for fish soup, I think, or something like that. Something like that. That's broth. What it is. I think fish it's like broth. a fish broth or something. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, but do you yeah. like the fact that you take everything, you, the creative part of it, where you find what's on special or you find. And, and what's you, in season? Then you make magic from that. Or and what's in season? Yeah. yeah you know, like the, like like the frittata came from squash and and uh, zucchini. Well, you know, those are kind of spring vegetables, aren't they? No, but they're always in season. Ronnie doesn't like vegetables. Well, but you know, it's but, like apples. You know, I've been eating yeah. a lot of apples that come from uh, Ecuador and think whatever it is because they're not in season yeah. here. But yeah. you can always find something. In season. You can, but um, I like to. Uh, I've been uh, trying to use fresh ingredients and whole foods. To cook with. So. Do you like the creative process or do you like to see people enjoy it more? Um, if you had to pick one, it's well, probably. Oh, good. that's a real tough question there because um, I enjoy cooking so much, but at the same time, I like all the attention you're giving me right now. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's a real toss up there. You know, it's like daiquiri or wine. Yeah. Daiquiri or wine, they're both so good. <laughs> but I would imagine you get a lot of satisfaction from having somebody like today we taste Yes, I do. So I do, yeah. yeah. And I'm having fun, and that's the main thing. You know, it's got to be fun. Because if it's don't. not fun, the food won't taste good. And that's the butt really? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. I didn't hear you. You're missing it. You're missing it. Let's see. I'm having fun. <laughs> and the food is good. How about that? Food is the it And it's good. Yeah. Now let's get in a fight and let me see how it goes. <laughs> we did already. You know, I'll you know, just that money you owe me. Yeah. I'm mad at you. <laughs> nope, still tastes delicious. <laughs> okay, there you go. How about that? My food, wow. it it suits any mood you have. You want to fight me, it's still good. You, you want to kiss me, it's still good. Well, you know, you talk about Kubion and how it's spelled and how you pronounce it. We have a friend that lives in Wisconsin, and periodically she comes in. As a matter of fact, she's dying to come in in December. You should hear her say some of the Cajun words. Oh. One time she came in from Wisconsin. She wanted to interview in New Orleans because she likes it so much. So she gets a job interview. She's an accountant. Gets a job interview at uh, Bourgeois Toki. She says, well, I said, who's your appointment with? Mr. Burbios. Yeah. I said, oh, Mr. Burbios. <laughs> I said, don't tell him that when you walk in. Supposed to be bourgeois. Yes. Yes, you had a point, Mr. Bourgeois. I 